Hello and welcome to Saturday. Saturday the <gasps> something of May. I was going to say March then. Who gives a shit? Every day's the same. Um, I've not filmed for ages. I actually did film the other day, but then I had a massive mental breakdown in the evening. Um, I'll explain more about that in a bit. I haven't filmed because I've just, honestly, I just, I've been feeling awful physically and mentally. Um, physically because of my head, the headaches that I've been moaning about for the entirety of lockdown. have just been getting worse and worse. Um, and I've had really bad vertigo and nausea with it yesterday. I had an MRI on my brain because I spoke to my doctor about my head last week and he referred me urgently to a neurologist to make sure there's nothing nasty going on. So I had the brain scan yesterday, so I'll get the results for that at some point. Obviously I'm shitting myself because, you know, they're checking for a brain tumour. Um, I don't think it's a brain tumour. I definitely hope it's not a brain tumour. Um, I suspect it's probably just exhaustion. Um, the neurologist said it just could be a new kind of migraine, but I've literally had it every day for a very long time. It was like started just for Easter. So yeah, I had the MRI essay and obviously that triggered off a, a migraine, my usual migraine, because if you've not had MRI, the noises, just search on YouTube MRI noises, they are insane. It's bizarre. Um, not my favourite thing to have done, but obviously, you know, necessary to make sure there's nothing shit going on. Um, I am currently attempting to make something new. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm making, or oh, I'm trying to make sweet potato brownies. Um, I've been wanting to make them for ages, to try them for ages. Thing is, I don't like, as you may have gathered, I don't like following recipes. I like freestyling things. And I've done a few things the last few weeks that have actually worked really well freestyling. This one, I'm not so sure. Um, I'm making them because A, the sweet potato replaces the oil, the butter. Um, not that there's anything wrong with oil and butter. It's just something I want to try. Um, obviously, having an eating disorder, I don't like. <laughs> not don't like. That kind of shit scares me. So um, I would never make and eat regular brownies for myself unless I was like basically wanting to binge my way into an early death um but i'm attempting sweet potato and also you know for kids for children edie can have the butter and oil i don't mind that but the sugar i don't want her to have too much sugar because it's bad for your teeth and all of that um and because sweet potato is sweet i thought it's going to need less sweetener so i am just freestyling it um in here i've got flour and cocoa powder um I've got some sweet potato boiling away um, and I'm going to add, so when the sweet potato is ready, I'm going to mash that, add an egg. I might add some dark chocolate chips because I think the recipes that I've seen said that they need a little bit of chocolate in. I don't know. It depends how, it depends how I feel. Um, for a little bit of sweetness, I'll use some agave and that's kind of it, I think. If I had brownie, if I had bananas, I'd possibly add a banana instead of the agave, but my bananas are not ripe enough. So let me explain about my mental breakdown because I'm sure you all really want to hear that. It's not, it's, uh, as you may have guessed, I've been increasingly struggling the last few weeks. Just, it's really hard being in lockdown on your own with a two-year-old trying to, I mean, that, that bit's not hard because Edie's great fun. Having to do everything is hard. I'm struggling with it a lot um, because of the pain that I'm in. Being lonely, um, tidying up all the time and it just doesn't seem to get anywhere. And then, like genuinely, the last sort of few weeks, I've just been crying every day because it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, more stuff as well that I don't need to go into. Obviously, being in pain every day is really, really shit. But that's nothing new for me. I'm in pain every day and I will be for the rest of my life, which is... Well, that's a really depressing thought, but, you know, nothing I can do about it. Um, but then the new pain with the headaches and the nausea, pretty shit. Like, I've been struggling to eat because I just feel so sick. Um, the vertigo is really hard to deal with as well. 
So yeah, that shit. How did I get started onto this? Yeah, so my mental breakdown. Um, I spent, it was a few days ago and I'd spent like most of the day tidying as I always do. And um, Edie had just had a bath, so she was all lovely and clean. I put her in her pajamas, we did bedtime stuff and I put her in bed. And she has a habit of when she's doing, done a poo, she goes into her nappy and pulls it out. And sometimes I can catch her in time and sometimes I don't. And this particular evening, I didn't catch her in time. I have never seen so much shit everywhere. Like all up her arms, on her face, all over her cot. She's thrown it across her room. And bear in mind that I was ready for bed. It was eight o'clock in the evening. I felt horrendous. So yeah, literally she had thrown shit everywhere. Absolutely, it was caked on. It was rancid. She's done this a lot. She hasn't done it for a few weeks. So I was hoping she'd maybe grown out of it. Poo, what I think is happening is she's like doing a poo and being like, oh, there's a poo in there. And she, I don't know how she did it because she was wearing a sleep suit and a sleeping bag. She went in, went up, pulled it out and threw it everywhere. Oh my God, genuinely, I just sobbed. And I shouted at her, so I felt awful. But I then spent the next few hours cleaning. Like, she rubbed it into her mattress because she takes her sheet off and rubbed she, oh, it. She rubbed it in all her clothes. Her favourite teddy, you killed Manamana, didn't you? Yeah, she killed her favourite teddy. He's currently having resuscitation at Nanny's. My mum's trying to rescue him um, because she's rubbed shit like it's just awful so yeah i cried a lot um and as i said i shouted at edie because you know she needs to know it's not okay you can't do that and then i felt bad for shouting at her and when she fell asleep i pulled her into my bed and then i was awake all night because i can't sleep when she's in my bed so <laughs> and then i literally woke up the next morning i was like right i need to calm down have a better day and then my neighbour started shouting over the fence to me because Dexter barked. It was like half eight in the morning, so it wasn't like it was early, early. Dexter was running around in the garden. She barked like a couple of times and he started shouting over the fence to me and like getting really aggressive. And I was like, you know what, I'm not in the mood. And I was crying and I was trying to feed Edie breakfast. So I was like busy. That's my mental breakdown. Um, yeah. I'm feeling... I'm feeling, I'm not gonna say I'm feeling calmer today because whenever I feel calmer, shit happens and you know, something goes wrong. But we're making brownies. We're making brownies because that is what you do when you feel shit. I'm genuinely, I'm really intrigued as to how this is gonna work out. Um, I don't, didn't cut the sweet potato very well because it's gonna take ages to mash. That should be soft enough to mash. So I'm gonna leave that and go and get Edie dressed and ready for the day, I think. Um, and then come back down and carry on making it. I'm also, I, I don't have a brownie pan, so I'm gonna make it in like a cupcake mold thing because then also it's portion control. I can put them in the freezer and when Edie wants one, I can just pull them out. That's what I think. That is a face that says I like cake. Do you like cake? No. Yeah. So yeah, I will come back to you with I'll come back to you with the end result because you don't want to see it part way through. You want to see it done, don't you? And then you can all laugh at how ridiculous my baking attempts are. So yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. I have had the parenting hour from hell. Uh, I don't need to go into it. It was just been really, really difficult. Edie's being challenging. She's not actually, do you know what? She's actually just being a two-year-old, she's trying to assert her independence. And um, yeah, but it's resulted in me being in so much pain because she's just wanted to be held and picked up. And it's, I, I, she's, I think she weighs about 12 kilograms now. And it hurts. <laughs> anyway, the brownies, gotta be honest, I'm very impressed. So this is one of the mini ones that I made because I filled up the whole cake tin. So they are like super gooey. Like I thought they'd be quite dry, but like, look at that. They're really gooey. So I made, oh, that's Edie's lunch. So I made 12 cake size ones and then four mini ones because I just had some batter left over. 
Edie likes them, so that's important. You can't really taste the sweet potato. They're not as sweet um, as normal brownies, but they've got the fudginess that normal brownies do. So overall, I'm very impressed because I've made avocado brownies before, black bean brownies, they've all been a disaster. These, spot on. I'm now just making Edie some lunch and it's literally the laziest lunch in the world. She's got a piece of toast with some grated cheese. I can't even make a sandwich. Honestly, I'm in so much pain. Um, I can't even stand up. Grated cheese, um, some raspberries and one of her brownies, one like one of the mini ones. And we'll see where we go from there. She may want something else. Oh, I'm gonna put some cucumber on there as well. Honestly, my back and my hips, like my pelvis feels like it's being ripped apart. Um, problem is like when like day to day, if I do a bit too much or I do something that's gonna cause me pain, it doesn't cause me massive amounts of pain straight away. It causes me maybe like a 20% increase in pain, but then over the next 12 hours, that in increases dramatically. And then I get to spend, and then over the next sort of week, I'm at that high level of pain. Um, it's the same on my feet as well, the neuropathy pain. Oh my God. So the brownies were a success. Um, if any of you are interested in my non recipe recipe, I can tell you roughly what it was. Although I did show you, I just mashed up a sweet potato, cooked sweet potato with an egg. You could probably use an egg alternative if you were vegan or allergic to egg. Um, what else went in there? Oh, I also put a little bit of yogurt in there as well because I was worried it was going to be a bit dry. Some, so about a tablespoon of fat-free yogurt, some agave, and then I mixed that to the flour and the cocoa powder. Oh, and I did use about half a bag of the chocolate chips, and they are dark chocolate chips. Half a bag, so a bag is a hundred grams. So that's fifty grams of chocolate chips, which, you know. Considering the fact that it made um, 12, 16, or I'd say there's 12 mini ones and four non-mini ones. Not bad. So I'm impressed with these. Um, and the thing is brownies freeze really well. Like, sorry, but that is just gooey. That is amazing. Um, I also know how to make like a fudge sauce that's like, that's like, healthy-ish so what I could do next time is bake them in a pan and then if you sprinkle it sounds really weird bear with me sprinkle over cocoa powder and brown sugar or sugar um, I'd probably use coconut sugar um, I don't think sweetener would work um, unless you can get granulated sweetener but I don't know and then pour over boiling water um, so just enough to kind of leave like a little drain of water and then when you cook it the water and the cocoa powder and the sugar sinks to the bottom and makes like a fudge sauce. I used to do that all the time. There was a recipe website that I found pff, like 18 years ago. It was like proper old school and it's called fatfree, fatfree.com I think. I think it's still up. It's like an archive thing um, and it had like loads of alternative recipes of how to make fat free um, recipes of things that aren't fat free. And those, that was like a hot fudge brownie thing. And I tried it years ago um, because throughout my eating disorder, fat was probably more important to me than calories. For the first sort of four years, I didn't really massively know about calories or understand about calories. Um, it was just grams of fat that I was bothered about um, and just eating anything, to be honest. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. If you would like a brownie, let me know. I'll send you one in the post. I'm only joking, but I send you all a virtual brownie. I mean, they're not the prettiest of things, are they? That one's a bit thin looking, but I didn't use self raising for They're, you know, they're not cakes, they're brownies. So I'm just sort of talking now. And I'm going to get Edie to have her lunch and then I'm going to go to bed. 
So I'm very looking forward to that. I will see you all soon. Bye.